Hey everybody, this is Ann Jeanette from AJ's Personal Touch. How you doing? Hope you guys are doing great today. Don't mind me how I look. I had physical therapy this morning, so I haven't had a chance to change because I have been diligently working on my sample project to get it done. Guess what? First of all, welcome back to my subscribers and welcome in to anybody who is new. But guess what? Uh, it is done as of less than five minutes ago. <laughs> it is done. I am so excited to finally show you the end product. I'm going to be putting it in a bag and my husband and I are going to go get it mailed off to Miss Macy, Mace of Skanks. I can't fit it all in here, so let's let me go up. See there, and down, and over, and over. I will be posting pictures. Um, I need to make sure that I do it when Macy says it's okay. I know she okayed for me to do this, but I don't know if she would be okay for Instagram pictures quite yet. Didn't call for one, but I... You know me, AJ's personal touch. I always add my little bit of touch. I put a nice crab stitch edging on the end here. Now I did try something else first, hoping that it would work. And I'm only telling you guys this because I know there are a lot of people who do the method if you make a mistake and keep on going. Um, you leave the mistakes in because you think it, you know, that makes it beautiful. And it does, it, it really does on some instances, but like this working for doing a sample project to me, I work it just like I'm doing a tester crochet, which means she sent me a pattern she wanted me to use. I make it to what the pattern specifies. I thought I was going to be short on this main color. And I wrote her and she, you know, told me, thank you for doing the math. And I ended up being able to eke it out to the end and make it work. But she had told me I could change the rows around if I needed to, because I thought these end ones, which have two blue and two rows of blue and two rows of red, that if I only got like six rows of the main color instead of the eight that it called for, that I might have to do like three blue and three red or four and four, but it didn't come out to that. So I was able to do it. She said, just put your personal touch on it. So she said, put AJ's touch on it. And so I did when it came to the edging. Now, originally I did a half double crochet all the way across. I had already sewn in my ends, but I had brought them out to the end. And I figured that crocheting over them would make them even more secure and, you know, that it would look good. I was doing a half double crochet. There would be plenty of room. But when I did that, I think I should have cut the ends shorter than I did. Um, but even it's shorter because I have these areas here, if you look close, that every row I change. So it's the main color, then red, main color, red, main color, red. And in these areas here, and then when I did the same with the red and the blue over here, there were quite a few ends out bulging at the end. So even if I cut them down really short, they still would have bulged. So when I did the half crochet and I went over it, I could see, you know, when you can see the ends, they were in there nicely but I could see them. And I know somebody else would look at them and not even realize what it was, but if they were another knitter or a crocheter, you know, they would know I, you know, I crocheted over my ends and you don't want it to look obvious. I don't want it to look obvious. So then, you know, a friend suggested for me to top stitch, um, to do a, um, slip stitch over, you know, the side on each side because I had done it in the main color. I had just enough main color left to do that. And then 
I was going to do blue on one side and red on the other. I got the blue done and it still, it, it started looking like pretty bulky. And I'm like, this is a heavy, or this is a delicate, delicate shawl. And the last thing I want is to put a bulky edging on it. I started the red going back the other way and I was just like, no, 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 <laughs> it looks terrible. I had an end over here that just did not like it. Um, it didn't like it when I did had the half crochets on it. When I added the blue, it looked even worse. And I know it was just one spot that was only basically that long, but it was enough for me that it looked terrible, literally terrible, <laughs> that I was like, no, I'm not doing this. And I had already sewn the ends in on the blue and on the main color and almost cried because I knew I'd have to cut and I didn't want to cut and accidentally cut somewhere that I should not have. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I did. Um, but thank goodness it was just down here at the end on the blue. So I ended up having to pull the blue back and recrochet it, add a little bit more on. And then I decided I just wanted, since it had blue on the edge here and over here, you know, on both sides, got two rows. I just wanted to put the blue all the way over on the top. It's my favorite color out of all of it. I mean, I love the main color a lot. I'm not a red person, but I do love that red. I think it's gorgeous. Macy did a wonderful job dyeing all of this yarn. But I just, that blue, her cowboy butt, the blue, it's just so gorgeous. I love that color so much. So yeah, I wanted to emphasize the blue all the way around it. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? And the way I feel about that is you never know until you try. So if you think you have something and you want to do it and it, you think it looks good, you know, when you think of it or down on paper, if you're writing it out like some people do and you know do the math and everything and then you try it and it just doesn't look right don't feel bad if you have to frog it because you may think of something else i mean somebody was talking about the crab stitch and i was like oh the crab stitch that would go perfect um actually my friend um was telling me who told me to do the overlay she said well you know if you would have done the crab stitch you could have done that over those ends and it would have looked it would have looked good but again I felt it would have been too bulky so I just went ahead and sewed the ends back down again and then clipped them or those that I knew that had been sewn in like down and up and down and up all the way up I you know I clipped them on the up so I made sure everything was nice and secure it's not coming undone and uh, it's done and I can send it to Macy and I hope she likes it as much as I do. Now, for those of you wanting to know why I am not um, washing this and then um, <laughs> my brain, it just left me. Um, why not? My husband's trying to help me, but, um, oh goodness, my brain, why I am not, I have my pegboard that I do it on. And it wants to come to me. It's in my head going, listen, listen. And I've been saying it over and over and over. But basically, why I'm not wetting it and I'm not taking my, well, it, it's wool. I wouldn't use my steam dryer. You only do that with steam iron. You only do that with acrylic. Um, and then pinning it down. And the word escapes me. You have to forgive me. I've been dealing with migraines again and just fo leather focused on this. 
um, the reason why I'm not doing it, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about, and you're probably sitting there screaming the word at me right now. I know you are. Um, the reason I'm not is because Macy's going to do it. She says um, she wants to be the one to do it because in that way it doesn't get messed up even more, you know. It would be kind of senseless if I did, and then she turned around and um, did it herself. And uh, again, so then it would go through it twice and would be messing with the fibers twice to get them to stay in place. So blocking. I knew it would come to me. The reason I'm not blocking it is because Macy's going to block it again. I'm just saying it again because um, once it gets sent back and it's going back in a bag, you know, not a box because how expensive um postage is just there it is there's the bag I need to put it in um actually I may do this I may put it in a different bag because my cat has chewed all on this but um postage would be more and um yeah but anyway it is done it is done and it is done and I can shout from the rooftop hallelujah it's done now I got to get going because it's almost four, which means the post office closes at five and um, I need to make sure to get there. So I will see you guys later. I hope you like it. Please let me know what you think below. Um, if I do another sample crochet at some time in the future, would you like to see the process again? Or do you think once is enough or, you know, it depends on the design, you know, I'm going to show you what I'm making, you know, if I can, if I'm allowed. So with that, I am out of here. Remember, you matter. No matter how down you're feeling, and I've been there this month, let me tell you, after getting the news that I got and still trying to figure out what I'm going to do and looking forward into this month, I have three appointments in Indianapolis, and now I have one in Chicago. So we're going to be on the road every week and then the last week of the month, we're going to be on the road twice. So not looking forward to it. I do not fare well with long drives, but they need to be done. So I'm going to try and get back on track with my reading. And um, Anna Karenina, here we come. I have so many things to do. And then um, I got pulled into Terry's sock challenge. So... I have less time to get everything done than I need to get done. And I'm going to get out of here. Remember, you are beautiful. You are gorgeous. Don't let anybody else tell you different. And I will see you later. Later.